Some automakers change current ICE cars to electric vehicles, others do a dedicated platform and a dedicated vehicle development for pure electric vehicles and some do both. For example, the Korean premium brand Genesis, they just launched the GV60 based on the eGMP called platform that also carries the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the Kia EV6. And in addition to the GV60, there's also the electrified G80, a business sedan that is available as a petrol and diesel car as well as a pure electric version. And brand new to the market is the GV70. You can have the GV70 as a petrol or diesel car as well. And here is the pure electric version. And with this car, Genesis will or wants to compete against the BMW, iX3, the Mercedes-Benz EQC or the Audi e-tron. And in this video, we will find out how it drives and what the Genesis GV70 offers as an electric version. Thanks for watching Asia Auto Ambassador and I wish you lots of fun and I hope that I can bring some information to you in this video with the Genesis electrified GV70. Imagine fictional billionaire Bruce Wayne rings you and asks you what kind of car should I buy for myself. I would strongly recommend the Genesis Electrified GV70. The GV70 available as a petrol and diesel car, so normal, more, kind, more or less normal premium mid-size SUV. So, so Bruce Wayne is also a normal citizen of Gotham City. And at latest, as the Electrified version, it transforms into a superhero as Bruce Wayne is doing when he becomes Batman. You see the known and established design language of the Genesis brand and the GV70 with the two lines uh, graphics here for the headlights, for example, and there's still the large grille, but it's closed, so no air intakes needed for the electrified version. And at latest, when you open the ch uh, charging port, then this car becomes the mentioned superhero. When you use the CCS combined charging system, you can charge the battery with up to 240 kilowatts of charging power. That means that the state of charge of the battery can be increased from 10 to 80 percent in only 18 minutes. We have got the 800 volt technology in here as well. And the battery capacity, the battery is placed in the floor of the car. Uh, is 77.4 kilowatt hours, so that's the same as the larger battery pack in the Ionic 5 or in the Kia EV6, and the same as the one in the Genesis GV60. So all these eGMP platform cars advantages are also carried over here into the electrified GV70, which is based on an ICE car platform. Also, the maximum power is yeah, quite uh, a superhero ready. We've got two electric. Um, motors, one at the front axle, one at the rear. Each uh, brings up to 160 kilowatts or 218 horsepower. So that's combined 320 kilowatts. And there's a boost button. The maximum power for up to 10 seconds is 360 kilowatts or 490 horsepower. This is quite a lot and far more than a competitor like the BMW iX3, for example, can deliver. And uh, with the boost uh, mode activated, this car accelerates from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in only 4.2 seconds. At the rear, you also see the two lines graphics for the lights and the Genesis lettering and the GV70 lettering, but no electrified or electric vehicle uh, logo or emblem. But if you are very familiar with the car, you see that, uh, by the way, the 
electrified version only counts as a sport version and you'll see that there are no exhausts here in the rear bumper such as with the petrol um, sports version for example and this is a sign for the electrified version. The boot capacity is a little bit lower because of a missing additional storage compartment under the removable floor. Of course, we've got the electric motors, the battery and so on. The boot capacity in total is 503 liters. And in addition, there's a frunk uh, in the front with 25 liters. You see a lot of high class fabric here. And of course, you can easily fold down the backrest of the rear seats to further increase the capacity of the boot. We won't load any huge luggage into the car now, but we will start and check the seating comfort in the interior. My height is 1 meter 92 centimeters, that's 6 feet 3 inches, and I find a comfortable seating position here behind my imaginary self, so I adjusted the driver's seat into my individual seating position. Only when you're very familiar with the uh, petrol or diesel GV70, you will recognize that the inner floor of the car is a little bit higher here. Um, that uh, yeah, is uh, because of the battery that's packed in the floor of the car. But this is not really, uh, doesn't have really an impact to the seating comfort. It's quite comfortable. We've got nice leather material here in our test car. A lot of uh, very well uh, done materials. And here we see the air condition for the second row, including seat heating for the outside seating positions and two USB power sockets here to charge your smartphone or the devices, for example. All the materials, also the door panel are quite nice. We've got uh, color contrast stitching here, leather upholstery. So that's really a premium feel here also for the passengers. And now we will have a look into the cockpit and see if the Genesis Electrified GV70 can fulfill the premium promise there as well. This is the cockpit of the Electrified GV70 and it looks almost similar than the one in the petrol or diesel versions. Your seating position as a driver is a little bit higher, but only if you're quite tall as me, then you sometimes feel a little bit too high because you see the microfiber here of the A-pillar, for example, and in the petrol version, I just drove the petrol version a couple of weeks ago, I would say the seating position is like uh, two or three centimeters lower than here, but it's still all fine. Behind the steering wheel with physical buttons, you see um, display for the instruments, including these blind spot camera pictures. I like them quite much. They come as an optional package, as well as the head-up display that shows its information directly in the windscreen. Behind the steering wheel, you have these pedals, but they are not for gear shifts, but they control the energy recuperation up to the one pedal drive feeling. And here you see the boost button in the steering wheel as well. There's a 14.5 inches display for the infotainment system that is a touchscreen. But also, and I like this quite more, you can also use this controller here, the center console for all the menus. And the difference to the petrol or diesel version is the EV menu that shows you, for example, the range with the existing state of charge of the battery. And you can also start the vehicle to load function that comes as an option. And then you can charge other devices, including other electric vehicles with up to 3.7 kilowatts, depending on the country where you are, of course. So this is the interior. We've got a air condition control with a separate touchscreen and a steering wheel heating as well and a heat pump that comes as standard equipment with this vehicle. We've got seat belts, of course. I close my seat belt now and start the start button. And I would say, or push the start button, and I would say we start our test drive. We start our test drive in the sport mode. You have different driving modes. And of course, I will 
press the boost button here in the steering wheel for 10 seconds we have the maximum power and maximum torque and the car accelerates like hell 70, uh, 700 newton meters of torque is the maximum torque and 490 horsepower is the system power output the all-wheel drive has the advantage that the car is quite stable in curves and yeah that's real driving fun and the comfort is still there we have a um, electronic damper uh, suspension here and the car is comfy at one hand but also there's a true sports car hidden in this SUV. The top speed on the German Autobahn is 235 kilometers per hour and the acceleration from 0 to 100 4.2 seconds in the boost mode that is active up to 10 seconds after pressing this button. So it's yeah just incredible the car. I like it. I like the style. I like the power and I like the immediate response of course when you push the pedal to the metal and that's really a fun car. Wow, this was my test drive with the electrified Genesis GV70 and yeah, I like the GV70, I like the brand, I love this car. For me, that's the perfect Genesis. It's got the combination of the nice and high class brand design with the Crest grille and I like the format of the GV70 and its overall design as well. And now it comes with a strong electric powertrain up to 490 horsepower, a large battery and the 800 volt technology for fast charging. So they bring the latest state of the art um, electric powertrain technology into this car. And for me, that's a perfect combination. In Germany, the electrified GV70 starts at 67,300 euros. This is not cheap, of course, but compared to its competition, that's really a fair price. So there's the BMW iX3 with exactly the same base price. However, the BMW only offers 210 kilowatts of maximum power output and rear wheel drive, so no all wheel drive, and it's not that powerful. And the standard equipment of the Genesis is also more luxurious. And we have, for example, the uh, electronic dampers, electric uh, seats, and the large infotainment touchscreen. However, also Genesis is asking for a lot of money for options. Here we've got Nappa leather, panoramic sunroof and different optional packages. And the test car list price in Germany is more than 84,000 euros. This is quite a lot, but there's also quite a lot with this car when you drive it. I hope I could give you some insights into the Genesis GV17 its electrified or electric version. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks to Matthias, the guy behind the camera. And see you next time here at Asia Auto Ambassador. Bye bye.